Hello everyone, how your day today? Hope everyone in good condition. Today, I will share with all of you guys about life cycle assessment of concrete and cement. Did all of you want to hear it? Don't worry, it won't take long time. Just sit down and enjoy. Before we get to know more deeply about concrete and cement, let's know the history of its existence first. Cement was developed by Joseph Aspden, an enterprising 19th century British stonemason, who heated a mix of ground limestone and clay in his kitchen stove. Then, he pulverized the concoction into a fine powder, that is some history of cement. We has know the history of cement, let's we see what we will learn in this video, topic 1 about whole life cycle, topic 2 about concrete life cycle aspect, topic 3 about system boundaries consider in cement, topic 4 about impact to consider, topic 5 about sustainability, topic 6 about contribution of several element for concrete and topic 7 reference. Let's go to topic 1 about whole life cycle, in this topic, we will learn the life cycle of concrete from cradle to grave, and the component of cement production. In this video, I will explain in more detail on the life cycle of concrete and cement from cradle to grave, in cradle, it include the mining of raw material, such as cement, water, aggregate, and steel. During this stage, it involves transportation the raw material to the cement plant, and involve process of manufacturing of concrete. Next stages is gates, it will placing cement that has been mixed to placing on site, after that, it will be used in build a building and need a maintenance. Until sometimes, it need to demolition and some structure will be reused back. Lastly, is the stage of grave, where the excess of waste will be disposal and recycling back, some waste also will go to downcycling for other uses. During the life cycle of concrete, it will affect the environment, where the existence of product and byproduct, also environmental loads, this result will produce raw material and energy. The components of cement production are divided to two, first is cradle to gate, and second is gate to gate. In cradle to gate, the process involve is extraction of raw materials, and transportation of raw materials to cement plant. During this process, it involves use of energy and fuel to generate the machine, and we know that, when we use machine, it produce emissions such as carbon dioxide. Next is stage of gate to gate, when the raw material arrive the cement plant, it goes to process of clinker formation to form a small of limestone to mix with other mixture. After it mix well, it goes to cement grinding to confirm all the mixture in the standard they need. This to process happen in cement manufacturing. Now, it arrive to the packing of cement to be distributed to consumer, along. This process, fuel, and energy play a big role to function all of the equipment, and emissions may be happen during this stage. We continue with the topic 2 on concrete life cycle aspects. Firstly, we go to aggregate production of cement because, around 70-80% to 80 of concrete come from the raw material. In the first steps, it start then quarrying to extra the limestone from some place to get the raw material. Next it go to crushing to make the limestone in a smaller texture, before it goes to transportation to site or plant. All of this process need a lot of fuel and energy. During their process and produce emissions to environment. After the process of aggregate production has take place, it continues in the process of secondary cementitious materials. The thing we can see is during thermal power plant, it need coal for the factory to produce energy. From this process, it produce fly ash from the burning of coal. Scientists say that fly ash can be a ingredients in produce cement. GGBFS is ground granulated blast furnace slag, that come from steel in the process of quent of slag. It go the dewatering, crushing, and grandaying to be the GGBFS. This process also required energy and machine, also water for dewatering. Other materials in production of cement is a rice husk ash, 
this rice husk ash come from the rice husk that goes to calcination process, that know as controlled burning. When it comes to burning, it produce carbon dioxide. Before this, we see a stage of cradle to gate, and gate to gate, let's we see in deeply about this SYST bound at consider in cement. In cradle to gate, it is process of raw materials mined to gate of the cement, this process consider energy consumed and emissions because, it involve extraction and transportation of raw material from the site to the factory, the energy and emissions occur such as burning of coal and carbon dioxide, that produce fly ash. Next is gate to gate, it is the process within gate of the cement plant, the thing we need to consider are emissions, e-net requirements, raw material, and process undertaken by the cement plant, it also invit extraction and transportation that can produce direct emissions. We also need to look at the impact to consider. The first impact need to consider is carbon footprint, this impact will produce greenhouse gases that responsible for global warming, second is energy consumed, it use of fuel, raw material that produces big amount of emissions, and required cost for manufacture, lastly is water, water can cause water footprint, that happen from cleaning and processing. We proceed with sustainability. Let's we see the positive and negative impact of concrete to environment, positive impact concrete to environment is, it has the lowest embodied energy among construction materials, it amount is only 0.95 ml slash kg, then other materials such as glass and steel on 5 to 35 ml slash kg, this raw material are available for significant volume of concrete to be produce, and it also indicate to any improvement, that has significant impact, negative impact to environment is, cement production in the world is about 3 billion tons per year, cement manufacturing account for about 5% of carbon dioxide emission in the world, this concrete usage estime vary from 10 to 30 billion tons per annum by following the graph from Portland cement production. We continue to positive and negatives impact of concrete to economic, the positive impact of concrete is, this construction provides livelihood to a large percentage of the population, it also spending continues to increase at the rate of 3 to 4 percent, for negative impact is, the poor construction with concrete can lead to high repair and rehabilitation costs, this cost cutting often result in, bad quality. Social impact Concrete give positive impact to social because it is a long-term investment that is within reach for most, it also can provide security to the user, the negative impact of concrete to social is, the cities are becoming concrete jungles, also the quality of concrete is not assured for the user. To achieve the sustainability success of concrete, we required maximum positive economic, environmental, and social impacts, let's gather together to achieve this sustainability. We go to the contribution of several elements for concrete. Water, when using more water, it contribute to increase workability, but, more water also increase the potential for segregation, that why the concrete from the cement plant has their grade according to the use for the construction, the lorry that carry cement need to make sure the concrete they bring to construction area still on the correct grade them order. Energy, concrete can minimize the amount of energy that a building consumes, concrete can ensure the building maintain a level of thermal comfort, and conct can reduce peak temperature, and can make air conditioning unnecessary. Material, we need to choosing material that will ensure the durability of structure, the selected material will determine the cost of the whole project according to the grade of cement we use, we also need to consider the environmental impact of material to maintain the structure of the building. We has arrived to end of video, let's see some references that use during the video making, and please comment, like, and share to others members, has a nice day everyone.